This film was made as part of the Common Cause Research Project, which aims to understand how universities and black and minority ethnic communities build collaborations. Each of these films tells a different story of how these collaborations might work. They range from long-term partnerships to short-term projects and events. The films are designed to prompt discussion and reflection. We encourage you to ask, what questions might be learned for the future from these stories? Chinese digital storytelling project, capturing the history of the first generation of Chinese immigrants in South Wales through creating 10 digital stories and preserving the community spirit for the future. If one day my daughter asked me, where did you come from? How were things back then? If we have this kind of project rolling on, our children and children, children will always know where we're from. Just one day, I got a phone call from Dr. Yuan, which is from Swansea University. She worked as a um, um, lecturer in the media um, department. I teach, I do research, and I am also an active member from the local Chinese community. She then introduced Kate. Currently, I work in impact and engagement, which means that I work strategically outside of the university in research with collaborators like the Chinese Cooperative. At that time, 2011, I think, um, there was a program, new program, All Our Stories. Where did it come from? Well, I spent six months when we were in receipt of money from the Arts Humanities Research Council. One of the professors from the university, Professor Hugh Bowen, was granted this AHRC project. Kate asked me if I have any connection with the local Chinese community. Back in 2005, I came down here right in this office, interviewed the then president of the Chinese co-op center, Mrs. Li Wai Fong. So I just volunteered to say, I will come down to our community center and talk to them. We were doing our work, normally community work, and we didn't even come across. We can do heritage projects. And actually Yan and myself and Shirley from the Chinese co-op came together quite quickly, and Shirley had a million ideas. There was a lot of challenges, and um, um, the project initially we planned, uh, we, fun we asked for funding for, was not filming. It was the pictures. And then when we got the funding and then we start to um, pro approach the elderly, we found out there's not many pictures they had. At the beginning we found out this and then we immediately changed our plan and then it worked. It worked better than the, our original plan because people see the elderly's face, they were very emotional. <laughs> Every single one cried. So what was missed? I think parts of the history that need looking at, we didn't have time to comprehensively give a thorough going over of the immigrant history in Swansea from inception or how it happened to where we are now. We were dig into the archive services and then finding the birth certificate I was thinking about this. Yeah. When I arrived in Britain, that was 2002, people are friendly and the racial equality is a well-established concept and especially I've stayed in the very safe area in the university all the time. I could never imagine how back in the 1950s those Chinese immigrants arrived here, opened a restaurant. Those kind of hardship is difficult to imagine. What was a struggle? Yes. The student volunteers, they, most of them are, are Chinese overseas students because they don't have the language barriers we thought. I felt really disappointed in myself as I only speak Mandarin. Swansea Chinese Community Centers elderly mainly are 
Cantonese or Hakka or even other dialects. None of our interviewees speak Mandarin. We wrote the transcripts, uh, helping the student to understand where to cut, you know. So it was a lot of hard work behind it. But without the volunteers from the Swansea University and the volunteers within our community, this project won't happen. Community shouldn't simply be in receipt of what we do or the responders to what we do. They should be truly part of the process. So collaboration to me means coming outside into this environment and truly co-working. Working with university, for me, I will hope we have more ac uh, academic support. Firstly, they have a rich resources we don't even have. This is a very practice-oriented project. How to ask the questions, how to, um, how to make the DVD, how to uh, video, um, you know, like the, now you're filming me now, how to film. We never regard ourselves like we were more knowledgeable, we know better, but we regard ourselves come to learn from the community, the treasured experience and the memory from the community. Mrs. Lee, who is the sort of mother hen of the Chinese community here in Swansea, um, we captured her dad on a digital story. Luckily, he was the first one we interviewed. After the story making, he passed away. I believe when his great grandson um, grow up and then look back to the clips, he will be proud of what his great grandpa talk about. <laughs> What was the surprise? The surprise was how well the outcome and how well received by the wider community. Would you do anything differently? Yes, I think so, yeah. We will use a better technology <laughs> and maybe we will, um, when we recruit volunteers, we might select the better ones. I know we opened a door into the history of the Chinese community in Swansea that had never been looked at to the best of our knowledge and the best of our research abilities. We couldn't find anybody that had done extensive research on the history of the Chinese community in Swansea. I would have asked for more money because I would have been able to do more or I would have quickly asked for more money straight after so we could have continued because we are scratching the surface. If I run this project again, I would think making it more intergenerational learning for children to learn from the elderly and for elderly to share their wisdom but at the same time also learn. Things are different now. The future holds different prospects for this younger generation. What was a mix? I think that would be what's next. Because after the project, we finished because 10 stories is not a lot. We have hundreds elderly. <laughs>